All right, question 17 um, looks like a pretty tricky question given the diagram and the amount of content given in the question. So it, this question did cause a lot of problems to students. But if we approach it carefully, with a little bit of thought, we should be able to work this one out. So Summit has a pond in the shape of a prism. I'm going to highlight that word prism. That is not very often mentioned in a question. And when it is, there's usually one of two things I have to do. The pond is completely full of water, and he wants to empty the pond so he can clean it. He uses a pump to empty the pond. The volume of water in the pond decreases at a constant rate. So I, I see the word volume, the volume, and prism, and a constant rate. Okay. And the level of the water goes down by 20 centimeters in 30 minutes. Half an hour for 20 centimeters for the water level to drop by 20 centimeters. But it will go down constantly. Work out how much more time Summit has to wait for the pump to empty the pond. Right. Well, the first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the word volume and prism. I need to know how much water can the pond hold. That's the first thing I want to know. In order to do that, I'm going to have to work out the volume of the pond. Now, the pond has a uniform cross-section, and that uniform cross-section is this trapezium here. So I'll just highlight the trapezium. So the front face is a trapezium. And to find the volume of a prism, we do the area of the front face and we times it by the depth, how far back it goes. So I'm going to calculate the area of the prism. Or not the prism, the uh, trapezium. So I'll do a very, very quick sketch just here. So the sketch will look something like this. of the trapezium at the front. Okay, and I want to find out the area first. Now this side is 1.3 meters, this side is 0 0.5 meters, and uh, I don't know this, but I do know that the distance across the top is 2 meters. In fact, I'll worry about the units in a moment. In fact, it would be unwise to worry about the units in a moment because this guy's in centimeters. I'm going to work everything in centimeters. Let's just rejig that. 1.3 meters, 130, and 0 0.5 is going to be 50. Okay, so I'd love to know the area of this trapezium. The area from the front of the formula book, don't forget that, it's a half A plus B times H. So if you look at the formula book, it'll tell you what's what. I'm going to add the parallel sides. I'm going to times by the height, which in this case is 200, and then divide it by 2. So we're going to do 130 plus 50. They're the parallel sides. We're going to times that by the height, which is 200. And then we're going to half our answer. I'm going to divide that. I'm going to divide that by 2. That should give me the area. Let's see if we can do a bit of mental maths here. Um, 130 plus 50 is 180, 180 times by 200, well, 18 times 2, 36, uh, 180 times 2, 360, and then we've got the other two zeros as well. And we're going to have to divide that by 2. When we divide that by 2, that gives us back to 18,000. So there's 18,000 centimeter squared at the front and how far back does it go it goes one meter back which is 100 so i'm going to do 18,000. so this is the volume now the volume is going to be 18,000 multiplied by 100 because we're dealing in centimeters which is going to be one eight zero 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 and we're going to have to then work out what was the volume of water that left how much water left the pond so 20 it, it changed by a depth of 20 centimeters so i'm going to do a sketch of well in fact if we were to think about it like this uh, we just get a quick straight line tool go with the dotted line and i'm going to go with red 
All right, so watch this closely. If it goes down by 20 centimeters, it goes down by just a little bit. I'd love to know what that volume is. What would be the volume left? Essentially, if you look closely at the diagram and you just consider this part, I'll highlight it. I'm only interested in this region, which effectively is a cuboid. So this is a cuboid here. So if it dipped by 20 centimeters, that means one of the dimensions is 20 centimeters. So we've got a dimension, say one of the, the height, if you will, is 20 centimeters. Now it goes back 100 centimeters still, and it goes across 200 centimeters still. So to get the volume of water that it dropped by, it's gonna be 20 times 100 times 200. So I'm gonna write that the volume of water that left was equal to uh, 20 times 100 times 200. Let's see if we can do that up here. Uh, that's gonna give me 2,000, 4,000, 4,000 with another two zeros. Okay, 4,000 and another two zero. So that's how much water left in 30 minutes. That's how much water is in total. So to work out how long it would take to empty, I need to see how many times does this fit into this. So I need to do the red number, which is 18 with two, four, five zeros divided by the blue number, which is a four with one, two, three, four, five zeros. We're gonna do a little bit of division. We're gonna divide, so the time, I call it T, it's gonna equal this divided by this. Cancel out the zeros. Those two go, those two go, they go, and those two go, and we get 18 over four. 18 divided by four is gonna go in 4.5 times. So that means altogether the time is going to be four and a half times this 30 minutes. So I'm going to write down that the total time equals 30 times 4.5. 30 times 4 is going to be 120, so that means by 4.5, 135 minutes. That's 135 minutes in total, but let's go back to the question, how much more time? I should have highlighted that. Work out how much more time Summit has to wait for the pump to empty the plant. Well, they've waited 30 minutes already, that means time left the time left is going to be found by doing the total time take away the time that's already passed which is going to give us 105 minutes now very very tricky question there however it was for six marks and as i said if you take your time work your way through it carefully, you can get there in the end. But you can at least pick up a few marks, notice the prism, notice it says volume, go for volume of a prism. And also notice that we got the trapezium.